Have you been wanting to make an app for your nonprofit but don't have any coding knowledge? Let me show you how to make a very simple app using Jotform apps with no coding necessary. Hey everyone, welcome to Jotform. I'm Kimberly. Now, if you already have a form that you would like to include in this app, all you have to do is find that form, hover over it, over on the right hand side where it says more, then over on the left under publish, create an app. You can start that way. Or if you have multiple forms that you'd like to include, you can choose multiple forms. Then up at the top, you can see it says create a new app as well. Now let's say that I have no idea what I'm doing and I kind of want to get a feel of this before I kind of start the process. The best way to go about that is to go to the very top where it says my forms and then choose my apps. Then from here, we're going to click on the purple create app button in the top left corner. Then from here, we have two options. We can start from scratch. So if we have an idea, we want to use our own brand colors. We know what this app wants to look like. We can start from scratch or we can choose from over 200 templates to kind of get our creative juices flowing. Let's go that route first. Let's take a look. Now, once you're here, there are three ways to find a template that's going to work for you. First, you can take a scroll and see if something visually sticks out to you. You can utilize the search option at the top. You can search for your niche or your type of nonprofit or over on the left hand side under categories. We do have a nonprofit category. So let's go ahead and check that out. All right. It looks like we have some templates for a church, for a charity, for a secret Santa, volunteering, donations. So let's go ahead and choose this donation app right down here. All right, then up in the top right, we're going to choose use template. Now, before we dive in, let's just take a scroll through and see what this app looks like. So it looks like we have a header. Then we have what looks maybe like a button or potentially a form. We have looks like some buttons here. We have a really great image slider, a collage here. We have what looks like testimonials. We have, you know, being able to follow them on social media. And then we can see it says add a new page here. So I want you to look down in the bottom left hand corner. We have these down here. So these are all different pages of the app. So you can see we have request donation about us and contact us. So let's keep giving it a scroll. So do you need a donation? We can request a donation. Then we have our about us. We have some text an image. Looks like we have a PDF document here. Then on the last page contact us. We have email, all these different buttons, which is perfect. Then we also have a map so people can locate where we are. So let's go ahead and look and see how we can make this very specific app. Over in the top left corner, we have an add element button. And if you're familiar with Jotform, it has all of the basic elements and features that you would think. The very first one is form. So if you came the route that we just came and you haven't connected a form yet, you'll click on form. You'll choose the form that you would like to connect. Then you'll add your form. But we have a heading paragraph link. We saw the document already. We saw image. We saw the buttons. We saw this really awesome image gallery or the slider. You can even choose to add a video. We saw the map, the social follow, the testimonials. If you have data elements that you'd like to add in, you can do that as well. And then we have some basic page elements like a divider and a spacer. Now we also have widgets, which are pretty awesome. So this will make your app even more robust. So if you have WhatsApp, you can add that or maybe a Facebook or an Instagram, you can add that in with a widget as well. So let's go back over to basic. Now let's say I would like to add in a heading. If I click on heading, it's going to add it to the very bottom, the last page of your app. So let me go ahead and show you what that looks like. There we go. Drop this all the way down to the bottom. So let's take a second and let's, let's look and see what this looks like. So we have these six dots on the left. This is going to allow me to move the heading anywhere within the app, not just on this page. I can move it all the way to the top if I wanted to. Then on the right hand side, we have our settings. So if you want to change the heading text, if we want to add a sub label, if we want to change the color, if we want to make it bigger or smaller, if we want to put it in the center or the right, we can do that as well. So that is one way to add any of the elements just by clicking on it. However, 
My favorite way to add an element is to click and drag it in exactly where you want it. So that way it's not gonna go to the bottom, it's gonna go to, again, exactly where you choose to put it. All right, let me show you just how diverse the button option is. So this very top join us is a button and you can see we can have our users visit a URL. They can send us an email, they can call us, they can go to a specific page within our app. Remember down here, these are different pages. It can open up a form. And then also we can change the way this button looks by clicking on style and we can change the overall style of the button. We can customize it to be exactly how we want it to look. Now, speaking of style and customizing, let's go ahead and close this out and let's talk about making this app look how we exactly want it to look to fit our brand. We're going to want to click on the app designer, which is this paint roller up in the top right corner. Now in the general sense, we can choose an overall color scheme. If you have specific colors in mind, you can choose a start and end color to have it kind of an ombre effect. You can also add a background image. You can see this one is utilizing a background image instead of that ombre color. And we can even change the font family if you want to. Now something else that's really neat is let's say you want all of your elements to be in the center you have a lot of elements and you don't wanna go through each individual one. If you come to the app designer under app layouts, you can see that you can do it in one button click. So we have all shrinked, no icons, all shrinked, no icons, and we have left aligned, right aligned. I'm gonna go ahead and click on the center align and we'll be able to see all of these are gonna to come to the center. And there we go. Everything is now in the center. Perfect. Now let's go up to settings and let's see what the settings have to offer. So as you can see, this app is already enabled. You don't have to enable it, but if you want to disable or disable on a date, this is where you come to do that. We already have the continue forms later option enabled for your users. And one thing that I think is really neat is there's going to be a pop-up, which you'll see in just a minute that says, hey, do you want to add this app to your home screen? Which is a really nice touch. And then you can also turn on the progress bar if you'd like. Now over on the left, we have the app name and icon. If we wanna change the name of the app, we can do that here. We can also see what the app is going to look like once they add it to their home screen. So if we want to change that, we can definitely do that by clicking on edit icon. Now we can see here, it opens up under the image. So this is an image that this template has uploaded. So if you have something very specific for your nonprofit that you'd like to use, you could remove this image and upload your own. Let's say you don't, we have a ton of icons to choose from. You can click on the icon option. You can see we have a ton, like I said, to choose from. Now, the last option is the splash screen. Now you can see this is also completely customizable. Again, we can change the background color, the font color, but let's go up to publish and let's see what this is going to look like. So as far as sending, we have a couple of options. We can copy this link to send one-on-one -on -one or even via an email. If we have someone specific we wanna send it to, we can invite by email here. We can even download a QR code. So if someone is in person, they can scan the QR code to open and download our app. But let's go ahead and let's open in a new tab so we can see what this looks like on a desktop. All right, there's our app. And there it is asking if we'd like for us to add it to our home screen. Very cool. So we can see that if we scroll, it doesn't look like how we saw it over in our editor. So it's going to show us one page at a time. So right now we are on the home page. But if you look up in the top right, right up here, we have the different pages. So if we go to request donation, it's just that one piece. If we go to about us, it's just that one page and then contact us as well, that one page with that really awesome map. And it's as simple as that. So if you have any questions about creating your own app with no coding knowledge necessary, please let us know and I'll see you next time.